Hey guys, so I was in the process of making a video using some hips that I received recently, uh, and my I printed out the first print, which went perfectly fine. So I went and decided to go ahead and re-slice and to print a new uh, Tascam holder. When I put the card in, I went to set it, you know, go to the SD card. Notice that nothing's moving on the menu. So. I mean, this is my me creator too. This thing has been a rock solid machine since the very beginning. The only modification really made to it was putting a cooling fan underneath it to replace the one that burned out on the back side of it. So, I want to go ahead and get this fixed. I'm hoping, I'm going to go ahead and get into it, see if it's maybe a loose wire. If it's not that, I'm probably going to have to replace the LCD. Let's hope that's not what the case is. So, let's go ahead and tear into it and see what I got going on. First off, please forgive the mess on the desk. It has, I need to get through and start cleaning things again. <laughs> I'm just going to find out which Allen wrench this is going to be. 2.5 millimeters is going to be the size. So let's get in here first. I want to check the wires, make sure everything is tight. Let's drop that screw, but that's all right. I saw where it landed. <laughs> Okay, just going to be three screws. There we go. Now I'm trying to remember how I had the wires hooked up. Okay, it's just right there. That's cool. Uh, okay, so it's actually just going to be a single ribbon cable running right up a heat in here. It looks like it's level. Um, trying to see how the LCD connects over here. Okay, so it's just twisted in place there. So let me grab a little pair of pliers. Okay, so let's take a little pair of pliers. You have to take hold of the metal piece. It looks like it just kind of twists just a little bit. And that should allow wow that's kind of a different setup I expect it to be screws holding it okay so that removed and let me do the same thing to the top part I'm going to raise this up slowly Let's take that, twist it gently, and same way with this one. And there it's coming off. Okay, so let me put it back on its side. Try not to lose everything here. <laughs> Need to work it gently. There we go. So it's a single ribbon cable coming into this, and that board, everything's kind of held in with metal and everything else on that one as well. <laughs> but it looks like I could take out some Allen head screws here. And I was hoping I'd just find. The normal ribbon cables like you normally would find on one of these was the two separate cables but that's not going to be the case I'm gonna have to take a little screwdriver to that real quick Okay, I found a little one right here. I think it might work. Yep. There we go. Got that knob off. Get back on the other side of the camera. And let's see what we're up against now. Well, 
the ribbon appears to be connected. I don't see any damage on the ribbon itself, so I think it's going to be the LCD itself that's going to be damaged. Some or the the knob here, something about it got damaged or something. I don't know what happened. I'm trying to see if maybe it's a solder joint. Everything looks good on it. I don't see a burnt connector or nothing. Okay, so now the next thing is how do we disconnect the ribbon? Like that. Little door opens up and that disconnects it right there. Oh, I get where you can see it. It's a little door. So that's definitely a different kind of a connector. So I think I'm going to have to buy the board, buy the LCD directly from G Tech. But now that I know how that works, let's just go ahead, just for giggles, and let's open the door on this one up here, make sure it's seated. And let's go ahead and reseat this one and just see. Maybe by some chance it was just a loose connector. Okay, let's see if I can get a power cable over here. <laughs> this is the jankiest thing I've ever done. Well, not really. I've done way worse than this. Okay, LCD comes on, and, ooh, it turned. Oh, good, so it was just a loose connector. Okay, now to reverse the steps if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so now that we know that that's working at the moment, let's go ahead and get put back together. It appears I've lost one of the screws. So I don't know where in the world I lost it, and I'll probably go back on the video and find it later. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get this put back together for the most part, now that it's working. Um, I did notice that this still has a sticker on it for the little beeper, wherever that is. So let's go ahead and get that off there. Now, I want to test this again before I, uh, before I button it up completely. Let's try to get it where I can see on camera if I can. Good enough. Okay, ready? Fire it up. Okay. It's moving. Good. Okay, so we know that works now. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put it in place while it's on. <laughs> so I make sure that everything's working right. Make sure I've got the ribbon cable set where I want it in the case, which it's fine. I want to test this again because I do not want to take and uh, put everything together and then find out after the fact that I messed up something. Okay, and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and bend those pieces of metal like I did before, you know, put them back in place. I got the ones in the bottom set. Make sure all the spider webs are out of the bottom here. <laughs> okay, one more last time, check this. It's scrolling. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and power it off. Pull the cord out from the holes I had that in. <laughs> and then I need to get the bottom put back on here. I think I just scratched my desk. That's all right. And I 
want see there there yep that's correct so that's going to go like that there we go there we go I knew I was missing one other screw there <laughs> Go ahead and get this put back on there. I think it's on camera, but I can't tell. I'm all, all the way off over here to the to the right of the camera. I actually did a firmware update, thinking maybe it was a the firmware got corrupted, and uh, I honestly went into this thinking I was going to have to order a new a new LCD for it something got burnt out but apparently it just over time the wires kind of got loosened on it thank goodness for that so now let's go ahead put it there plugged in powered on and please work Thank goodness for that. It works. So now I just got to put the knob back on it and then I need to turn those two pieces of metal here and it will be good to go. You can see I just turned down the print speed. <laughs> and the key to the knob, you don't want it flush down, you want it out just a little bit because you got to remember you're going to be clicking. So click, turn, Yay, turn that back up to 100%. Good to go. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank goodness that worked. Oh, let me just double check here, make sure my SD card, card inserted, print from SD. Yes. Okay, back in business. So, my bulletproof machine is still bulletproof. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.